So the hype train for Killing Floor 2 Summer Update 2019 has begun. Tripwire just revealed the two new weapons coming in the Summer Sideshow, along with giving us a little bit of details about Objective Mode 2.0. Hey guys, it's Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back, and I hope you're doing awesome today. And if you're not, I think this news will definitely help you out. Now, to start with, the first weapon they revealed is called the Seal Squeal. Now, this weapon is for the demolitionist, and it's described as an explosive, semi automatic harpoon launcher. And according to its description, you're going to be able to pin Zeds to surfaces. And with the default mode of the weapon, it's, they're going to blow up in 4 seconds. And with the alt fire mode, it's going to be like C4. You can blow them up anytime <laughs> you want to. Now the seal squeal is going to be 1100 dosh. And it's going to be a tier 3 weapon. Now one question I had about this weapon is, are you going to be able to stick Zeds to other Zeds? And Tripwire Stone responded on Twitter and said, no, because that'd be too much fun. <laughs> no, actually you cause a bunch of issues in the game. And I also suggested maybe they could, you know, stick Zeds to other players. I think that'd be kind of fun, you know, stick a flesh bomb to one of your teammates. <laughs> <laughs> now, the second question I have is about direct impact. A lot of the demolitionist skills are focused on direct impact, you know, hitting them directly in the head or weak spot. And I'm curious, is that going to work with the seal squeal or, you know, is it going to be radius damage? Should be interesting to find out. I I'm assuming it's going to be direct impact. Now, the second weapon they revealed is called a hemo clobber. Now this they're calling a medical melee weapon and it's for field medics, berserkers, and the survivalist. Now the light attack with the hemoclobber is going to heal teammates and poison Zeds. Now the heavy attack uses ammo and will release a medical gas like the medical grenades. Now that gas will heal teammates and poison Zeds. And the hemoglobber is a tier 3 weapon which is going to cost 1100 dosh. Now my question is, how is this going to affect the medic? Is this actually going to make the medic a decent berserker? You know, you think about all the damage boosts he gets from medic grenades if you have that on your tree. It might be pretty powerful. Another thing is, what about survivalists with medic training? Especially with the last update, he does a lot of poison damage. It can make him a pretty powerful, you know, berserker as well. Or you could obviously run melee expert and get the additional speed and some of that poison and, and damage. Now finally, I think this could be interesting for the Berserker as well. Because normally with Berserker you either have to run Dreadnought and Vampire or Skirmisher and Butcher for the health regeneration. Now with the Hemoclobber, I think potentially you could run Dreadnought and Butcher together and use the Hemoclobber as your health regeneration. Now finally in the different gifts you can see up in the right hand corner the new objective mode. On the Hemoclobber's gif it says activate flare launcher 1 out of 5 and also says too many Zeds. Another thing people notice is it's only 8 waves so it says 7 out of 8. So I'd say it's a safe bet that this is going to be a brand new game mode. Now on the Seal Squeals gif Again, you can see the waves go up to 8, so this time it's 6 out of 8. And under Objective, it says Protect the Drone. And then it says Kill All Zeds. And on the left-hand side in the gift, you can see this little metal head floating. <laughs> so I, I'm assuming that's the drone. So what do you guys think of these new weapons and Objective Mode 2.0? Let me know in the comments below. For me, I have to be honest and say I'm a little disappointed that there's only two weapons. But the weapons they have look really, really cool. 
I think the seal squeal could be really interesting to use as far as, you know, you don't have to shoot zeds with it. You can just shoot down a harpoon in a path and wait for them to come in and blow them up. Also, I think you, know, you could shoot a crawler in the middle of a, of a horde of them and blow up a bunch of them. I think that could be really, really cool. As far as a hemoclobber goes, I think this is going to be the really interesting weapon here. Trying it out on Medic, trying it out on Survivalist, and again trying it out on Berserker with Dreadnought and Butcher. I think it might be interesting. What I'm really excited about is Objective Mode 2.0. The first thing I'd like to know is how many objective types are there. Right now we have Activate Flare Launchers and Escort the Drone. Obviously, activate the flare launcher, you know, you're going to have to go to, I don't know, five or six zones on the map. And I'm assuming stand there for 30 seconds or something while somebody is <laughs> flicking around with their lighter or something. I don't know how that's going to go. And then escort the drone, which looks like it's just going to kind of float around the map and you have to protect it. Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be interesting? I'm working on a Killing Floor 2 review right now and I'm really thinking about the game and, and what makes this game special. For a PvE horde type of game, I don't think it has an equal because most game types like this are just afterthoughts, right? I mean, maybe Horde in Gears of War is, maybe they thought more about it, I don't know, but it seems like it's kind of like an afterthought. With Killing Floor 2, it seems like they really, really thought about okay let's make this game you know high skill level on hell on earth and even suicidal and then it, you know it'll scale down to if people want more of a relaxing experience on you know hard or normal or whatever what i'm curious about here is with this objective mode is this just kind of like a thing they're putting in the game or is it like a boss fight they're really well thought out and you know interesting and they add to the game rather than just being a uh, we got some you know <laughs> go light the flare <laughs> like, you know, who cares? <laughs> like who cares if you're looking to stay up to date on the latest Killing Floor 2 news leading up to Summer Side Show 2019 make sure you hit that subscribe button until next time guys this is Chris have an awesome one